Hi there, I'm at Rooney Trent Valley Railway Station because today I'm waiting for a train to Bergen New Street and travel to the stations on the former West Birmingham Suburban Metro. Look at that station between Bergen New Street and Bourbill. My train is arriving now, so I'm going to jump on that train and head into Birmingham. So I'm now on the 0653 the West Midlands Railway service to Bergen International but going as far as Bergen New Street. Now the reason I'm going to the West Birmingham Suburban Metro or other known as the Cross City Line is that today I want to find that 323. 323 221 in that central living because it does look gorgeous indeed. And also we're going to visit four stations between, as I mentioned, Bergen New Street and Bourneville. That's including five ways. University and Selly Oak. Anyway, let's get to Birmingham New Street. So right behind me is the first station, Five Ways Railway Station. Yes, I did go to McDonald's this morning for breakfast and a coffee. And whoever took off with my breakfast, hope you enjoyed it, you <laughs> Also, Ian's here as well. Who's here? Oh, hello. Hello, Ian. Hello. Yes, uh, we're actually spending the day with Ian today. Because I know people have been asking for a collab with Ian. And this is going to happen today. Yes, this is happening today. This is happening. Somebody's a happy man now. So the history of Five Ways Railway Station is very quite interesting. It opened on the 1st of July 1885 by the Midlands Railway, replacing Birmingham Granville Street Station. However, though, it temporarily closed in 1944 but closed permanently in 1950. It didn't reopen till the 8th of May 1978 by British Rail as part of the Cross City Line. So I'm currently waiting for the 0926 to Bromsgrove. Now the next station is University but we're going to leave University because when we get off there we'll be by the exit and a bridge as well. Best to do it on the way back towards Birmingham. So the next station we shall visit is Selly Oak Station. So I'm now at the second station of this cross city adventure that I'm looking at today. This is Selly Oak Railway Station. This station actually opened on the 3rd of April 1876 by the Midlands Railway. When it was opened though it was renamed Selly Oak and Bournebrook. However though in 1904 it was renamed to Selly Oak. To be honest, Selly Oak Railway Station is a nice station indeed. I do like coming here a lot to film trains out here. And also it's one of the original stations on the Birmingham West Suburban Line. 
Now I did get that mixed up saying West Birmingham Suburban Line, which I do apologise. However though, we shall leave Steady Oak Railway Station on the next train to Bronsgrove, but we shall be getting off at Bourneville Station. I'll explain more when we get to Bourneville Station about the plan because that's where I'll be making the switch to head back towards Birmingham at. So this is the third station I'm stopping at today. This is the turnaround point to head back towards Birmingham. This is Bourneville Railway Station. If you notice this railway station is actually painted in purple. That's because it's next to Cadbury's World, which as you saw on the train as we arrived into Bourneville. But it's an okay station. It's not one of the nicest stations to fill trains at here, but you do get some good shots down the bottom with that bridge there. So the history of Bald Bill Railway Station is that it's one of the original stations on the West Birmingham Suburban Railway or the Birmingham West Suburban Railway. It opened on the 3rd of April 1876 at Sturchley Street. However, it wasn't until 1904 it was renamed to Bourneville, but during the time between 1876 and 1904 it was also named Sturchley and Bourneville. There was quite a few name changes as well with this station. Also, Bourneville Station is actually next door to the Worcester Birmingham Canal. To be honest, the Cross City Line is next door to that canal. But we shall leave Bourneville Station on the 1125 service, West Midlands Trains to University. Because I'm using Bourneville as a turnaround to head back towards Birmingham now. We're not going to Kings Norton today, even though the Birmingham West Suburban Railway actually joins onto the Birmingham Gloucester Line at Kings Norton. So last year I came to University Railway Station, which is where I'm currently at right now, with Gel on the Move, because me and Gel on the Move did all stations on the Cross City Line. Alverchurch. Not Alverchurch. Alverchurch is wrong, and anybody that says Alverchurch needs to be punched in the face and just forcefully ejected from wherever they may be. On the screen. So when this goes out on YouTube, you will be wrong on the internet. My customer sense is always going but the, the sense is strong here. So we started burning a new street and went to Redditch and Bronzegrove. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm not very happy that you brought me to Redditch. And back then, the new station building entrances to University Railway Station were complete. It's April 2023 now, and they're still not complete. They're still working on them. And these station buildings should have been ready for the Commonwealth Games back in 2022. That happened in Birmingham, but unfortunately, they're still far behind with that work. These Class 170 Turbo Stars are on borrowed time because they have started work in the Class 1960s on the Hereford circuit. But at the moment they're only serving Great Malvern in the morning 
and Worcester Shrub Hill in the evening. But those Class 170 Turbo Stars, definitely on borrowed time. Now the station history of University Station is quite simple. It opened on the 8th of May 1978 by British Rail when the Cross City Line started between Longbridge and Four Oaks. And then it got extended to Redditch. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm not very happy that you brought me to Redditch. Litchfield, Trent Valley and then Bromsgrove. And from Bromsgrove, I'm not meant to make Redditch. However, though, a bit further north from University Station, between University and Five Ways, are two disused railway stations. You've got Somerset Road, which closed in 1930, and then you've got Church Road, which closed in 1925. Now originally I was going to head back to Birmingham on the 12.35 West Midlands Railway service but it's running about 6 minutes late. In fact some of the services today on this line have been running a bit late. The only latest one to know is the cross country services which were about 30 minutes late. But it's okay really because I'm not in a rush to get back towards Rugeley so we're going to head back to Birmingham on that train and then hopefully at Birmingham get the 1315 back to Rugeley Town. Ain't that right, Ian? Please stop making me edit this video even more. No! Passengers, this is your conductor speaking. Due to a disruptive passenger delay in this service, we're now going to be terminating at Hensford today. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So behind me is Hensford Station. Now I'm going to have to explain what's going on because I've seen a load of things in my time. I've seen fights on trains, I've seen head do's, I've seen stag do's, I've seen people drunk, people cheery and everything. But what happened today? coming back from Birmingham has really been interesting. Very. Very interesting. Very interesting. We got stopped at Blockswich North because there was a person on the train who was being a bit of disordered and to the point that he stripped off naked. Holy Jesus. It really angered some passengers up with this disruption happened but they did manage to get his clothes back on. He just walked off the train as normal because I don't know what happened, he could have been on drugs, he could have been a disabled yeah. person, we just what, don't know. I understand what one of them was saying, he said spice, well spice is a drug. Yeah, it could have been a, someone on drugs, I just honestly don't know, I don't want to speculate. The only thing that I would care about right now is, 
is to get back to Rugy Town. Yes. So the next train has been cancelled. Lovely, thank you. The 1435, so we waited for the 1458 to Rugy Town. That's the weirdest ever. We've left up in here. So I'm now back at Rougie Town Railway Station. The station's just right behind me there because it's just outside of the car park. Now let's not dwell on what happened coming back from Bergen New Street to Rougie Town because that's all in the past now. The whole video has really been a good day. We visited the four stations on the former Birmingham West Suburban Line, also known as the Cross City Line. We did see that 323, that Centro livery, 323221, and it's really been a good day. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Also, what I'd be happy with, because I'm dropping a video right here, if you feel free to give that a click, I've been Simon Trades. The people on screen now are YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's really appreciated. I'll see you on the next video down the line. Thanks for watching.